Hello, I'm Christopher Norris, and this is your Mining Minutes. Gold once again rose above 1950 US announced on Tuesday, buoyed by a weakening greenback and falling treasury yields in response to encouraging US inflation data. In a major business development, Glencore has announced its acquisition of a 77% stake in Tech Resources Limited's steel-making coal business, Elk Valley Resources, for 6.93 billion US. This deal, expected to close in Q3 2024, also involves Nippon Steel Corporation and POSCO adjusting their interests in EVR. Glencore's CEO, Gary Nagel, expressed enthusiasm for the acquisition, emphasizing the strategic fit with Glencore's global coal operation and the commitment to environmental stewardship and social contribution in Canada. In local news, the Australian Aluminium Council delegation has hosted a breakfast with MPs, senators and advisors in Canberra. Joining me now live to discuss is Mark Cooksey, Managing Director of ABX Group. Mark, great to see you. Yeah, likewise, good to catch up again. Mark, you were at Parliament House this morning with the AAC. Talk us through the breakfast. Yeah, the Australian Aluminium Council has members from the large companies like Rio Tinto and Alcoa down to the small companies like ABX. And aluminium has huge opportunities for the renewable energy economy, but there's a number of policy settings that need to be to get right to support that. And so we were presenting to both members of the government and the shadow opposition um, about those policy settings this morning. And Mark, what message did you and the AAC convey to the government and how well was it received? Yeah, so the key messages are there's uh, the, the two things that the aluminium industry really needs is uh, clean, renewable, competitive, reliable energy. That's both for refi- aluminum or refinery and aluminum smelting and uh, efficient environmental approval processes for bauxite mining. And I think it was well received. I mean, there's a number of uh, both you know, members of the government and the opposition that are very uh, enthusiastic about the aluminium industry. And they wanted, they generally wanted to know what, what do you guys need from us? Um, and they were grateful to, to see a consolidated position put forward by the aluminium industry. And you're joining us from the Australian National University Rare Earth Conference. What are some of the key takeaways thus far? Yeah, so it was convenient that I could uh, do two things in Canberra this week. So this Rare Earth Conference, quite different to aluminium where it's a well-established industry. Rare Earths, we know it's a huge opportunity, but we're trying to create a whole value chain uh, you know, from not much. So we need mining, we need processing, we need metal production, and there's a very complicated in terms of the technical skills and the financing uh, to bring that all together. So it's a great to have a very a diverse group of people with a common goal. That was Mark Cooksey, Managing Director of ABX Group. Mark, thanks very much for your time. Great, thanks Chris. That's all for today. Make sure to follow mining.com.au for the latest mining news from Australia and around the world.